But what I'm seeing, what the Lord is showing me in several of these dreams, and I'll just read you what the Lord said to me, the eagle, Donald Trump, and the bear, Vladimir Putin, shall partner together, and they will both be hunted by the liberal media. The Lord began to show me potential for great wealth, creativity and inner innovation. Uh, the Lord said to me, Donald Trump will not be remembered for the, the, the building bridges or even burning them, but for the grace that I've given him to create them. And I believe that Donald Trump during his presidency is going to create and make deals that the world has never seen before. And as I begin to inquire of the Lord um, after this dream about Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, uh, I believe the Lord spoke to me. And again, I'm just reading from this document that will be released in entirety in several days. It says, the Lord said to me, their, their friendship, again, of Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, will cause tremors and earthquake-like activity among the liberal media and parts of the government like never before. Their talks will cause the conspiracy and accusation levels to rise at an all-time high. I believe that the watchmen and the intercessors need to lean into the wisdom of God concerning these men and not give in to carnal fear. Um, I, I want to tell you, I, from what the Lord is revealing to me, there is going to be a false prophetic narrative concerning Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. You are going to see prophetic uh prophetic words come forth that are going to be stirred from carnal fear about how Russia is going to take over America and the connection between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin is evil and all this stuff. And I'm telling you, there's a false prophetic narrative that's going to come from a fear-mongering prophetic camp. And I believe that the Lord wants to release divine perspective concerning the coming partnership of Russia in the United States. So keep an eye on that. The next section, the next dream that the Lord has given me in the last 30 days is concerning Donald Trump and China. Um, I had a dream where I saw Donald Trump place a crown of thorns upon the nation of China. And God reminded me, most of you know, I released a prophetic word concerning Donald Trump in 2015. And in the prophecy that I gave, a specific line that the Holy Spirit said was that Donald Trump would be like a bull in a China shop. And in this dream, again, I want to say that again, Donald Trump, the prophecy from 2015, Donald Trump will be like a bull in a china shop. The Lord reminded me in this dream that I had several weeks ago that that's actual, a literal prophecy that that is going to be, be fulfilled. The Lord said to me, Dur during Donald Trump's presidency, he will not only be a thorn in the side of in the side of China, but he will also be a bull to their shop. Speaking of their economy, the Lord said to me, "The bullies, China, will lock horns with the bull, Donald Trump, and it will cause great tension and strife among the nations." And so I believe we're going to see a coming partnership with the United States and Russia, but I believe we're going to see mass tension, uh, Donald Trump becoming a thorn in the side of the nation of China, and also him as a bull locking horns with the bullies. That's how the Lord is referring to China in the dreams that I've been having. The bull will lock horns with the bullies, and it will cause great tension and strife among the nation and the nations. And so I want us to, I believe that the Lord wants us to keep an eye on Russia, on China. Um, the, the next dream that the Lord gave me uh, was concerning Donald Trump in Israel. 
Um, I received a, a, a prophetic word where the Lord said to me, Benjamin Netanyahu, though small in the eyes of many men, has gained great favor with me. And the Lord said to me that I will use him as a front runner in the nations of the earth to expose the plots and plans of the enemy. And then I saw Netanyahu becoming a trusted advisor to Donald Trump. And I believe Netanyahu who has a strong, a supernatural, prophetic anointing, whether he knows it or not, but, but, um, Benjamin Netanyahu is going to be a front runner in the earth in the days ahead, warning of the plans of the enemy. But Israel shall be a friend of America, and America will be a friend of Israel. So, Russia, China, Israel. And the last thing the Lord gave me a dream about was concerning Donald Trump in the church. And if you haven't heard, I had a dream two days before the elections in November where the Lord gave me a dream about a baby with the face of Donald Trump that was dropped off at a nursery, a church nursery. And an old lady, a nursery worker, took this baby that had the face of Donald Trump and began to rock him in the nursery. And this woman in the dream began to sing a song over Donald Trump. And the song in the dream said... Donald, you have a crooked way in you, but through the intercession of the church, God is going to change you. And she sang this several ta times, Donald, you have a crooked way in you, but through the intercession of the church, God is going to change you. And the Lord has been reminding me, and I want to make this very clear to people that follow Behold the Man Ministries and want to hear what I believe the Lord is saying. God has given Donald Trump as a gift to the church. And the Lord said to me, the one thing, the presidency of Donald Trump will be defined by one thing. Are you ready? His character. The Lord said, you must know that his character can be greatly shaped and forged through the faithful intercession and prayers of the church. And so I, I already believe that most of the church in America has already fallen back asleep. And many people might have prayed for Donald Trump to become elected, but I'm telling you, now is the time to pray that he would be protected and respected. I want to say that one more time. Many in the church prayed that Donald Trump would be elected, but now is the time to pray that he would be protected and that he would be respected. Uh, the Lord has given this man as a gift, as, as a seed form, and if the church does not pray, the crooked way that's inside of him, the tendency, the potential for him to falter and to fall back on things that he promised that he would do, we're in great danger of this. So I want, I want to put that out there. Um, I, had, I went out to Azusa now on April 9th, 2016. Some of you might have been there in Los Angeles, California. About 70,000 of us gathered um, in, in the Coliseum there. And I was there mo almost the whole day. And the only thing that I heard from the Lord on April 9th, the Lord said to me, if Donald Trump is elected president, he will legislate stadium Christianity in America. But if Hillary Clinton is elected president, she will abolish stadium Christianity in America. And I believe that with the election of Donald Trump, we are going to see stadiums filled. And even at times, he is going to legislate 
Christianity and give it a place in America that it's never had before. And I believe that if Hillary Clinton would have taken office, she would have abolished stadium Christianity in America. And I really believe there's a direct connection here with Lou Engel in the call, with Billy Graham, with the filling of the stadium. So many prophetic words that have come forth. I believe it's going to come right through um, Donald Trump. And so um, if you're still with me, I, I know I'm, I'm talking about a lot of dreams and I don't know if you're following me or not, but I, if you missed the beginning of the broadcast, I've, I've been uh, in, a, in a 30 day fast where the Lord called me off of social media, off of caffeine, off of sweets, just basically being walled up in a cave uh, in personal consecration. And the Spirit of the Lord has been gracious to come and meet me. And I believe He's showing me things to come. And so the first part of the word for 2017, uh, what I've shared so far is really speaking on a on a large uh, political, a uh, global scale, okay? So that's the first per part of the word. So hang with me. The second part of the word for 2017 is about the increasing polarization that's coming to the church. I want to say that one more time. There's an increasing polarization that we are going to see that's coming to the church in 2017. Now, polarization, it refers to two views that emerge that drive people apart. When polarization comes, it's something that comes and it basically, it brings two extremes. And I believe the Lord has shown me two specific areas in 2017 that we are going to see polarization. Uh, the first one that the Lord showed me was the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So, in an open vision, I saw the ministry of the Holy Spirit being substituted and replaced like never before in various parts of the body of Christ. Um, I have here in 2017, the Lord says that some churches are going to engage in entertainment and fleshly driven marketing uh, schemes and techniques that we've never seen before. Parts of the church are going to give themselves to truly becoming a subculture for the world. The Lord said to me, the false gospel that produces false converts will spread like wildfire in 2017. The false gospel that produces false converts will spread like wildfire in 2017. Church attendance, the number of church services, and financial increase will deceive many who are looking for soulish confirmation of success. The Lord also began to show me some church leaders who started their ministry years ago being led by the Spirit of God are going to be, be uh, become, or they're going to drift away from the voice of God in 2017 and they'll operate from a realm of man pleasing. So this is, this is one of the polarizing views that I believe the Lord has shown me we're going to see in 2017. We're going to have at one end of the spectrum churches and ministries and leaders who are completely given over to the flesh and entertainment and programs and people pleasing. That's one end of it. They're going to substitute. They're going to replace the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Now, that's the bad news. Here's the good news. On the other end of the spectrum, on the other end of the polarization, we are also, in 2017, 
going to see the emergence of churches, ministries, and leaders that are going to welcome the ministry of the Holy Ghost like never before. The Lord began to show me a, a remnant of people that are hungry for the raw power of God. I felt like the Lord wanted me to prophesy. I saw many conferences, many church services that were scheduled for short periods of time actually break out into an extended uh, time of meetings of prayer and fasting as the presence and the power of God begins to move. I believe we're going to see the presence of God descend, the ministry of the Holy Spirit descend upon churches and regions and territories where the glory is so thick people can't move on. The Lord said to me here, he said, it's time to shut down the drive through church that is bound by watches and calendars and get into the place where you're governed by my face. One more time, I heard the Lord say, it's time to shut down the drive through church that is bound by watches and calendars and get into the place where you're governed by my face. And so be on the lookout in 2017 for an increasing polarization regarding the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You're going to see two, you're going to see a divergence here coming. People that are going to do it in their own strength and their own striving and their own entertainment, their own programs. And then on the other side, you're going to see truly spirit birthed, spirit filled, spirit led ministries. It's, it's going to be glorious. And so be warned, but also be encouraged about what's coming. The second area or the last thing that the Lord shown me, and, and I'll be honest, this has been uh, such a burden to me personally, uh, this, this area that the Lord is showing me, the polarization that's coming. And so we have the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The, the final area that the Lord showed me is the apostolic ministry. The Lord said to me that of all the five ministries that are currently functioning in the body of Christ, you have pastors, teachers, evangelists, prophets, and apostles, those five ministries I'm referring to. The Lord said to me, of all five ministries functioning in the body of Christ, the greatest level of deception is operating right now in apostolic ministry. The Lord said there's a coming polarization. On one hand, we're about to see true apostles rise in the earth, releasing authentic apostolic ministry. And on the other polar opposite side, we are about to see the emergence of false apostles who are going to operate and conduct false apostolic ministry. I saw in 2017 God raising up messengers, apostolic preachers, who are going to proclaim Jesus Christ in all of his glory. The Holy Spirit is going to anoint their declarations and restore fascination and love for Jesus Christ. I believe there's a company of these messengers, they're fiery heralds, they're going to help usher in revival in the church, but it's going to be centered upon the knowledge of God in the person of Jesus Christ. They're going to be burning and shining lamps. This apostolic company that's rising, they're in love with the word of God and they're going to say yes to the road to Emmaus where God is going to reveal himself through the law, through the Psalms, and through the prophets. We've got to understand that apostolic ministry that does not recognize that to gain revelation concerning Christ is everything and to forfeit uh, it is futile and not authentic apostolic ministry. The calling of all true apostles is to unveil the glorious person of Jesus Christ. I believe the Lord has shown me one of the great issues 
in the apostolic ministry right now in America is that we have every revelation known to man but Jesus Christ. And I believe the greatest level or the reason why the greatest level of deception is operating in apostolic ministry right now is because the value and the preciousness of these foundation layers that are called to unveil the person of Jesus Christ. Now, I was asking the Lord through prayer and fasting for more clarity regarding the issue, his issue, or the coming polarization in apostolic uh, ministry. And the Lord showed me what I'm calling the apostolic networking merry-go-round. I believe there is an apostolic networking merry-go-round that is taking place in America through what the Spirit of God is showing me and the Lord specifically gave me the, the passage, 1 Thessalonians 2, 5 through 12. And in this passage of Scripture, Paul specifically talks about the heart of authentic apostleship. And one of the primary earmarks that Paul mentions about apostolic ministry is that they are not greedy and they are not to be a financial burden to those that they minister to. And then finally, true apostles do not seek glory for themselves and they do not seek praise from men. And I believe that we're living in a day and an age where in order to be a spiritual son or daughter to many so-called apostles, one must pay their monthly dues or be labeled a false son or daughter. So in other words, I believe that these so-called apostles are asking people to rent their name per month so that they can claim to be under apostolic authority or covering. Through fear and intimidation and control, these apostolic networking merry-go-rounds are they're being established and advanced in America. And if anyone dares to challenge these apostolic networking merry-go-rounds, they're blacklisted. People are told not to talk with them. And the minions working in these apostolic networking merry-go-rounds form secret societies that look more like the mob than the, than the bride of Christ. In order to preserve their public image and reputation, these apostles will only network with certain individuals that they can benefit from. I'm convinced that these con artists posing as apostles would be better off going out into the business world rather than bringing in their filth and greed into the body of Christ. I believe that the problem with most apostolic networks in America is that Jesus Christ is being sold out and made merchandise of, and the apostolic ministry has been turned into a marketplace for prostitution and casual harlotry. The Lord gave me a dream where He began to show me that the shepherding movement of the 1970s is about to be reborn in America. I, the Lord showed me a newer wineskin of apostolic ministry that is going to overemphasize the very same things and mistakes that the shepherding movement emphasized. Authority, submission, these kinds of things. And I believe that the apostolic movement, I say this with all the fear of the Lord. I, I have prayed, I've fasted through this. I'm telling you, the apostolic movement in America is headed for a train wreck and the judgment of God is going to fall upon these so-called apostles 
who are abusing and pimping the people of God. I've had an interesting dream about four days ago where I saw white circuit rider preachers being sent to the African-American church in America. And these African-American, or excuse me, these, these white circuit rider preachers, they walk into African-American churches and they stand up on the platforms and the crowds think that these men are going to repent of racism. And what ends up coming out of their mouth, I've had this dream several times, these white circuit riders are going to go to African American churches and they are going to say to the African American saints, your apostles are abusing you, your prophets are pimping you, but the God man is coming for you. And I'm telling you, one of the greatest deceptions of apostles Apostolic ministry is occurring in the African American church. I believe we are witnessing modern day slavery once again, but it is black men supposed to be fathers enlisting slaves, sons and daughters, and binding them and bounding them by the need for greed and money, by their need for showmanship and titles. And I'm telling you, the hammer of God is going to fall on this specific ministry because it's so precious and valuable before the Lord. And so I really believe that there's going to be a polarization where you're going to see true apostolic ministry that is centered on the person of Jesus Christ, true apostolic ministry that fathers sons and daughters for zero dollars. Listen, if you have to pay money to a network to be fathered and mother, you are a part of a non-biblical system that is enslaving you in religion. I want to say that one more time. If you have to pay money to be a part of any network, to be a son or daughter, if you have to pay people to talk to them on the phone, if you have to pay people or they won't come to your conference, I'm going to call it out for what it is. Baloney. People need to get over themselves and stop using and abusing the people of God. The Lord is going to raise up deliverers in America. America. He's going to raise up prophetic voices that are going to challenge apostolic trends that are false, apostolic trends that are seated in greed and carnality, and I believe that we're going to see a great war that's going to be raged in America, but the Spirit of the Lord is going to be all over it. We're going to have true fathers give birth to Timothys, the shepherds that we need. We're going to see true fathers that are going to pour into sons and daughters and not ask anything in return. And again, this is the coming polarization. We're going to see authentic apostolic ministry restored to America. And then we are going to see apostolic networking, merry-go-round, preserving a public image. How many Facebook likes and followers can I get? <clears throat> How many conferences and filling up of a travel itinerary and all these kinds of things. <clears throat> and I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to this specific ministry in America. So we're going to see a polarization, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. We're going to see a polarization in apostolic ministry. <clears throat> I'd like to close uh, tonight by just asking you all uh, just to be prayerful with me in considering what I have shared, um, I want to start from the top. Again, I believe that the Lord is, is calling out uh, to the body of Christ. He has given us Donald Trump as a gift. He needs our prayers. He needs our intercession. I believe the one thing that the Lord has shown me that will define his presidency is his character. Look for a coming partnership with Russia. Look for Donald Trump to be a thorn, a bull, 
to China. It's going to send waves among the nations. Look for the coming friendship and counsel that Benjamin Netanyahu will bring to Trump. Israel will be a friend to America and America will be a friend to Israel. And finally, look for polarization. Look for extremes that are going to come. I'm, I'm believing that there's going to be truly Holy Spirit led and filled ministries, people desperate for the presence of God, but we're also going to see fleshly, carnal, ambitious ministries and people rise. And finally, apostolic ministry. I believe God wants to recover. He wants to restore this ministry. He's going to raise up messengers that are going to preach Jesus Christ and all of his glory. Paul wasn't known as an apostle of deliverance. He wasn't known as an apostle of faith. He wasn't known as an apostle of the power of God. Paul was known as an apostle of Jesus Christ. He said compared to all the things that he had done in life, nothing compared to knowing Jesus Christ, his Lord. And I believe that God is raising up people right now who are not going to find their voice who are not going to find their validation in a network, but they're going to find their voice. They're going to find their validation in a place called the wilderness. God is beckoning messengers away from social media. He's beckoning messengers away from what the crowds are saying, and he's inviting so many into the secret place to have ears to hear and eyes to see what the Spirit is saying in this hour. So I want to thank those of you who have joined me tonight and listened. I want to encourage you to follow us on Behold the Man Ministries uh, Facebook page, uh, BeholdTheManMinistries.com. In less than three days, I'm going to publish much more than what I've shared with you tonight. It's going to be a full-length prophetic word uh, that's going to be available for you to share uh, with your friends and family, uh, whoever you so choose. Um, we're going to be uh, putting out, uh, I've really been praying about where the Lord uh, wants me to minister um, in the early part of next year. I've been uh, uh, sorting through about 100 invitations or so, uh, but, but I've selected uh, what I believe the Lord has laid on my heart. So I want to thank uh, those of you who have written and emailed and asked um, if we could come to certain cities, I wish that we could take all the invitations, but we just can't. Um, God is furthering the, la the, the work here in Lakeland, Florida at Heart of the Father Ministry. Um, we're just experiencing so much of what the Lord has for our community of believers here. But in terms of, of traveling on the road, um, I, would, I would just say two, two conferences that I, I'm going to be speaking at. Um, early part of next year that I'm excited about. Uh, one of them is at One Thing Orlando, uh, January 26th, 27th, and 28th. Um, Todd White, uh, Nathan Morris, Mike Bickle, Misty Edwards. There's going to be some great speakers and conferences. The theme is on the prophetic signs and wonders. You can come catch my session there. Um, the other conference that I wanted to tell you about, I'm going to be in Colorado Springs, Colorado at the 222 conference with Lou Engel, Lance Wallnow, uh, Dutch Sheets, several other speakers. But the nature of that 222 conference in February, I believe it's the 16th through the 18th, is what is the Lord saying to the church post the election? And um, Lance and Dutch and Lou and myself and some others, I believe there's some fresh things that God's going to speak to the nation. And if you can drive or fly into that event in Colorado Springs, the 222 conference, I believe that's going to be a powerful time. I'm going to be doing some overseas trips. I'm going to be uh, Michigan, uh, Mississippi. I'm going to be in Dallas in February. 
Um, I'll be down in Lima, Peru uh, the first part of January. I'm going to be uh, speaking uh, at, at some uh, major conferences down there for young people. So just keep us in your prayers. But I want to encourage you just to connect with us on Facebook, the website. Um, I'm, I'm going to be back up online now trying to video and keep updated with some things I feel released from the Lord. But we need your prayers. Share uh, the prophetic word. And we'd love to hear uh, your feedback back. So thank you guys so much for, for all that, uh, all that you've contributed to this, uh, this video. And, uh, I do, again, I do apologize for, um, not being able to, um, not being able to see, um, any of the comments. I'm not sure exactly what's happened. I, I can't see anything that you're writing, um, but that could just very well be my fault. So I'm just going to um, just pray for us if that's okay. And um, maybe if, if you want to comment further um, on some of this stuff, um, you can. And um, I just, I'd, I'd love to connect more with you guys. But let's just pray um, if we can. Father, we just thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, for all those that are watching tonight. And God, we just posture our hearts before you. Lord, in humility, Lord, in gratefulness for all that you've done in 2016. God, I just lift up those that are watching and will watch this video. God, we pray for ears to hear and eyes to see what the Spirit of God is saying to this nation. Lord, what you're saying, Lord, to, to our lives, to our churches and our ministries. God, I ask that you would release corporate grace for those watching to turn off the noise, Lord, to shut down ministry, Lord, to get offline and seek your face. Lord, we pray for fresh revelation. Lord, we pray for clarity and direction. I just even feel like the Lord is saying to some of you watching that in 2017, I'm not going to necessarily release a mission statement to you. I'm giving you a mandate. And so, Lord, I ask, Lord, that you would release a mandate upon those who are watching this video, that you would release to them the reason for why you created them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for those right now who are struggling with guilt and shame and condemnation of even at the end of December 2016, no that they're not where they need to be in you. Lord, we ask, Lord, for conviction. Lord, we ask for the Holy Spirit's presence to invade their living room and, and their, where people are watching. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would break in, that you would release the fire in the presence of God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that there would just not be an infilling. There would be an overflowing of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, God. God, I ask that you would fill our lamps with oil in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say no to the urge for platforms and microphones and to be out in front of people. Lord, I pray that you would restore private devotion in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the glory that comes when it's just you and us. And I just pray, Lord, I come against, I feel like the Lord wants me to come against ministry addiction in the name of Jesus. Lord, I know how easy it is to hide our junk behind ministry. And I just ask, even if that you're asking some to lay aside serving and they need to come back and get healing and restoration, Lord, I pray that we would seek your face. And Lord, we just pray over, Lord, our nation. Lord, I pray over Donald Trump, Lord, that you'd give him great wisdom. Lord, that you would give him great discernment. God, our prayers are with him. Our prayers are for the church. God, we pray for a pure and spotless bride to arise. God, I lift up the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I lift up apostolic ministry. Lord, we ask that you would restore the foundation of the church and that you would show us our great need for you. Thank you guys so much for, for joining me tonight. I look forward to staying connected uh, to many of you. 
feel free to leave your feedback. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. I hope that uh, the Lord continues to bless each and every one of you. And let's get geared up for the new year. Let's go in uh, consecrated, uh, hearts fastened and set on the person of Jesus Christ and filled with love uh, for all those that the Lord's going to call us to minister to. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Stay updated with us and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.